Hi, Susan Gardner here from Municipal World. I'm at the Ontario Municipal Administrators Association Conference and uh, Holly Munn from Brand Freak uh, is joining me here this morning. She just gave a great presentation to municipal CAOs here at the conference around how they can change the way they uh, communicate with constituents and how they report out information and share. So she uh, presented this morning uh, five tips for openness and transparency yes. and I'm wondering if you share those with our audience. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Susan. So my name is Holly Munn and I really am a, a big fan of helping municipalities become more open and transparent. So what does openness and transparency mean? And to your audience, it really means um, being able to know and get the information they need. So we always want to give them the information we want to give them, but it's really about making sure that the, that audience can get what they need when they need it. So the first important thing to do is to get to know your audience. And it's surprising how many people think, oh, I know my audience, I live in the town, I hear from people all the time. But you need to make sure that you really know who you're talking to. You're not just hearing from special interest groups, but you're getting that wide range of opinion. So using some of your public engagement tools, so online surveying, drop-in town halls, open houses, are great ways to kind of engage a wider public in understanding how they feel about the municipality. Knowing your audience might also mean talking to your employees. So not only are your employees living in your town quite likely, but they're also the people on the front lines that are talking to your audience every day. So they're talking to people at the community center. The sewers and streets guys are talking to people out on the street. So you might not get people that are going to come in to city hall, to a town hall meeting and, and talk about something, but they're going to tell your streets guys, you know, when you do snow removal on Wednesdays, it's really bad here because of a certain reason. So that's really important is to get to know your audience, talk to your special interest groups, talk to your city councillors. Once you know your audience, really work to communicate with them in something called plain language. Plain language means using short, simple words, using shorter sentences. We're growing up in a time of social media. People want memes. They don't have time to read long sentences. If you have to think, should I put a semicolon in here? It's too long. <laughs> Agreed. Right? So just make it really short and easy to understand. Once you've done that, give people stories. We love hearing stories. That, that's what humans are built to do. Right. So don't just tell them we've made childcare spaces for single parents. Tell them the story of how those childcare spaces are changing people's lives. So now that I have childcare, my children are safer. I can go back to school. I can get money. I can pay my rent and I don't have to use the food bank. Sometimes you might have to keep these stories confidential, but you'll be surprised at how much people want to talk about their successes. So tell compelling stories. It's a lot more impact than simply numbers on a, on a budget sheet, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, because that's, that's what we want and we relate to. Another thing is to give people really concrete, relatable facts. So it's one thing to say, we're spending $10 million on this project. That, that doesn't mean anything. But it's another thing to say, hey, do you know that three in 10 people in our community go swimming every single week? Of those three in 10, we want to build a new pool so that those people have a better place to go. Giving those relatable facts gives people the opportunity to say, okay, well, maybe this isn't me. I don't go swimming. I hate swimming. Swimming pools are terrible. But if they can say, wow, three in 10 people go swimming every week? I didn't know that. It can change people's perspective. It can really change their perspective. Are doing, exactly, right? exactly. Or, you know, when you talk about potholes, we know we have potholes. You're always going to have potholes. But if you can say to people, hey, do you know that in this street, there is enough volume in those potholes to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool? People are going to say, I know how big, that is a lot. I just thought they were little bumps. I didn't realize that's how much work you had to do to fix them. And it can really help get the public back on your side. The final tip was to talk to your politicians. So, you know, it, it's interesting because we, we talk to council all the time. Municipalities are always working with council, and council's passing on a lot of messages. But council tends to, they want to pass on the messages that are, I'm angry about this, this is bad, the, the street cleaner didn't clean my street this week. That's the messages they pass on. But go and try to have a deeper conversation about all the things they're hearing. Because that's counselors' jobs. They're out in the community. They're talking to people. So we really want them to 
just give us, you know, what are they kind of starting to hear about? What are people sort of uh, a little bit upset about or really excited about so that we can really shape our communications in that way? Their eyes and ears on the street. Eyes and ears on the street. Do your job better, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, once you do that, once you open up a bit and kind of start sharing more information with people, you'll be surprised at how you're, you're building that license to operate. Being more transparent builds trust builds license to operate so that the next time you go out and say, I'm going to tear up your street to build a sewer, people don't go, I don't think that's the reason you're tearing it up because you're trying to get in my way. They're actually going to say, yeah, I believe you because you've always been open and transparent. So really taking that, that next step is a really valuable that's thing fantastic. for municipalities. So that's great advice. Whether you're a municipality or really any other type of organization, Absolutely. openness and transparency, sharing your stories, uh, thinking about who your audience is communicating inside and outside the yeah. organization and really sharing uh, the impact of uh, what's happening with the work you do. Uh, great advice. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Susan. for joining us. Thanks.